Today I'm going to be playing Going Medieval. And Going Medieval is what they call a colony, uh, colony maintenance uh, simulation uh, game. And uh, yeah, I have been fooling around with it and one game I did already play and it hasn't been going all that well. So <laughs> yeah, there is still a lot I need to learn. I'm a new person at this game but anyway I will be trying it together with you guys and if people get on they can make suggestions whatever and then I can see if I can improve a few things let's start a new game uh, I'm gonna be t taking standard and normal difficulty next a new life yeah a new life the difference between the new life and lone wolf is that this one you start with three settlers this one you start with one settler, so I think I'm, I'm gonna make it a little bit easier to myself and start with three settlers. Also guys, if I'm a little bit late on reading the chat, it's because I only have one monitor and I have the chat running on the side on my iPad right now. So I need to look at the chat constantly and look back at the screen. So it might take me a couple of seconds before I see your messages. Also, when I turn my head, you might hear that the audio is switching from load to less load. <laughs> I'll have to live with that. Next. Uh, we need to choose, yeah, already chose a banner for myself, uh, a little bit uh, Templar cross type thingy with two lines, which is, yeah, perfect for me. Uh, where will we, where will we be starting? Let, let's random name, randomize. No, that, that's not a thing. I wanted to random. What am I doing? Uh, yeah, whatever. It's the seed I wanted to randomize. Yeah, okay, the seed is randomizing a little bit. Okay, that's a, uh, let's pick something where we are a little bit. In the middle yeah this should be fine okay this will be my seed uh, if you want to play along with me this is the seed number you might try to do the same thing i'm going to be changing this to a large map just to be sure and then next what i'm getting now is my three settlers and i can have can have a look uh, at them this guy is good in botany which might be nice because i need a lot of planting to be done he's okay at tailoring okay okay construction carpentry what's his uh, little thing here leaves nothing better than a nice long snooze in fact he needs more sleep than most okay so he's okay but he needs more sleep than the others this one oh yeah i yeah, didn't ah he might be learning medicine very fast and he will be learning speechcraft very fast medicine will be uh, necessary for healing my own people when they get sick or get injured he is um, okay at learning melee he's okay at learning uh, tailoring and he's very good at learning speechcraft speechcraft will be necessary to communicate with uh, the merchants as far as i know oh it, it even tells you good at bargaining yes so yeah i was right okay the third one He's good at cap carpentry construction is okay. It's not all that good. Intellect. He's a very good smithy. Punch drunk. If you save share alcohol with Helena, ex except black high or worse. Okay, <laughs> that's a good treat to have. Swigger, it's my first work, Helena. Uh, you know what? I'm missing out on the whole construction and intellect thingy. Uh, someone is good at learning intellectual oh this one okay so this will be my researcher and i need research to uh, continue involve evolving of course what's all this might you'll be back to stream tonight and tomorrow okay oh uh, i i can i can bring you more materials in in bundless if you need some uh okay bottom so i have in global I have someone who can do farming. I have someone who's kind of okay at medicine and who will be learning it. And I have intellect. Didn't I have two starters? Oh, okay, intellect. I can put one on intellect. Yeah, that's fine. I think I will be starting with this. Uh, just, yeah, let's do it. I, I can read all my characters, but I won't be doing that. I need to learn it anyway. What's this? Your settlement will experience many raids. Uh, each settler has a story about the past. Oh, yeah, that's what I've, I've chosen, right? Yeah, that's the stuff I have chosen. Okay, embark on this journey. I hope everything will be going fine. And if it does, then yeah, I hope uh, I will be surviving for quite quite a bit and not die within the first couple of seasons. Embark. Here we go. Terrain will be generating. Yeah, the good stuff life 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 yeah life happens and then you have to to do it to execute it at your best okay the terrain will be generating normally this doesn't take all that long except for of course the first time you generate the terrain uh, yeah this is a fancy little game i have been following for quite a while 
it involves a lot of uh, colony, colony management, uh, city building, settler building, also protection against uh, not only animals but also against enemy raiders. So, a new life, the plague has ravaged the British Isles, leaving a trail of destruction in its wake. Untold millions went to an early grave and those less standing were plunged into poverty, brutally scared by the horrors that they have witnessed. Nothing would ever be the same again. In the spring of the year 1353, Erdrich, Minota and Helena set off into the wilderness to claim a piece of land as their own, or as was their right, in the eyes of God and under the law. Here they may lay down the foundations for some kind of future, perhaps hope will follow. Medota is confident, defined even, we will make this work. We will take our share of land, we will build here and we will defend it. Many have tried, some have fallen, beset by bandits, defeat by droth, yet many have also prevailed. Have faith, the place we found will stand centuries from now, our descendants will be there still. Oh, this, yeah, okay. My intonation is probably not perfect. After many travels, Travails. They arrived in a valley with the golden plants cut through the, by a snaking river. For Helene, it conjured visions of bountiful harvests, song and wine, a place to put down roots, a homeland. They decided to call it Bad Saddle. Uh, maybe I should have chosen a better name. Let's click to continue. Okay, so here we are. Uh, yeah, the little tutorial thing is, I will leave them on. Please bear in mind, the game is heavily under development still. Yeah, a lot of things might not work. But I have noticed that it's okay, it's going okay. A few things, strange things happen, but maybe that's because I don't know how to play the game. Camera controls, okay, we know that. Work layers, yeah, this is also fancy, but I will show you that later on. Okay, let's do this. Uh, game speed controls, yeah, like any colonization type deal, you can increase speed by numbers, pause the game, increase speed, double speed, five times the speed. You can move your camera. You can also uh, angle, change the angle. The funny thing with this game is that there are also layers. So let me try to show you that. See, the game works in layers, layers of ground, and you can build underground, above ground, and yeah, layers, layers, lots of layers. So first things first, I need to do something. I'm gonna have to settle down somewhere. So let's check the map. Okay, I'm actually in the center of the map. There is a lot of stuff in the area, which is okay. I will need all that for later on. I think my first uh, goal will be to um, maybe, what's, what's all this? Tall grass, I will need the hay to feed my cattle. That's for sure. Uh, yeah, so let's start with that. There is some sticks here, which I can unlock. So my settlers can use that and pick it up. Let's, uh, oh no, uh, let's not do that. Let's, uh, yeah, I think first thing first, I will be getting the hay and maybe unlock the sticks. I should have some resources. So let's do that. Help get all the hay. Maybe cut down some trees as well while we are here. Yep, there we go. Let the settlers do their thing. Meanwhile, I should probably also try to build a little, um, a little pen for my, uh, for my animals, I think. Let's try to check that. F1 for building. See, base building as F1. F2 is production. F3 is furniture. Then you have leisure. Then you have miscellaneous. And this is warfare. And this is for zones. So first things first, I will need a little... Do I need... I need fences. Let's check. This is a stockpile. Is this the fence? Unmarked grave. Yeah, this is the fence. Okay, let's make a little fenced off area. Something like this, and then E to rotate, and then I can do something like that. Yep, something like this, and then bring it back down again. Yeah, something like that, and then E, make it like that. Yes, that's the goal. Then I can also change the layout. Let's do it like this. Let's do it like that. Switch. Oh, one too far. Close it off. Yeah, that corner. Turn it around. There you go. Corner turn it around in the other direction there you go and then I will also need something like a gate yeah a wicker gate okay for the time being I only have access to wicker which is actually using the sticks so uh, yeah I will have to learn everything else okay let's do that let's try to build that a little bit faster first year is also the one which is probably the slowest one 
you posted something in Discord. If I can check it out, I will check it out. Yeah, I will check it out. So tutorial for bit allow. Yeah, as I mentioned, there is some stuff flying underground here already, and you can uh, make sure your settlers pick it up or do not pick it up. Okay, stockpile. True, I will need a stockpile. Good, good, good. So let's do that first. That's a region stockpile. Let's put everything maybe somewhere up here. Mm, eight by eight. Yeah, should be enough there. Okay, that's a start. What? Dark beer? What are you talking about beers? Now I'll have to go check it. But I don't know if that will show up on the stream or not, so I'm, I'm not going to do it. Uh, beer. Beer. Uh, don't get me uh, started with beer. I, I have some whiskey here. Discord. Uh, I'm, not, I'm not sure if the Discord will show up in the stream or not. Let me try. Okay, switch to the Discord. Uh, of course. Original. 5% alcohol. Hmm. Hmm. Brown and golden Colorado. Uh, might be interesting. I, I, I don't have access to that beer in Belgium. Anyway, in Belgium, we have all the best beers in the world. So why would I try a Colorado beer? I should probably try it at some point, but I like myself a good beer, which makes me think, which makes me think. Um, let's not make this mistake. I don't have access to beer, but let's pour a whiskey. There, I'm allowed to have a drink. It's still weekend today. Okay, so what what can I tell you about this game? What game makes this game a little bit more special than a few others is that you have plenty of things to uh, take into consideration. First of all, you have the whole job thingy. I will not read the tutorial. I have already read this. You can give people a certain job and give them uh, like, a, how should you call it? Uh, an order of things to do. Like, yeah, priority. That's the word I was looking for. So three is regular. But if, for example, I want someone to be constructing uh, before doing anything else, I would set this one to uh, a higher number. So two, like this, the system will now look for Minota and will check, oh, there is a number two. So this is the one you need to execute first. And after that, it will do all the threes from left to right. So for example, if I put this on one, this on two, and this one on two, then it will check for, oh, is there a number one? Yes, so she will do construction before she will do anything else. Next, it will check from left to right, is there a number two? Yes, oh, she will hunt before uh, the rest. And after that, the next check is animal husbandry. So that's what she, she, will, she will be doing. And after that, that will be checking the trees from left to right. So you can set a, a priority of, of things they need to do. For now, I will not be uh, checking that right now because I want to explain you a few other things. There is also a whole schedule here where you can tell people to, uh, for example, let's say uh, from five o'clock they can do whatever they want and let's say nine o'clock they can do whatever they want. Here they can sleep and leisure is not really whatever they want like this but all the other times should be work times like this oh, all filled in. I can also do this copy and paste it on the others there they have the same thing so now they will be sleeping from uh, 10 to 4 which is actually one two three four five six seven hours okay -ish. maybe i should give them another hour and the rest will be uh, leisure 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 they get a few breaks but all the rest of the time they should be working also manage this is also something uh, completely different. Here you can uh, let them uh, uh, indicate which type of weapons they will be using. So for example, this one has marksmanship 8 and melee number 5. But it has a little star next to melee, which means it will be learning. Uh, she will be learning melee a lot faster than she will be learning marksman. Let's check this one. This one has marksman 0 melee 23 so this one should equip a melee weapon let's pick a one-handed and a shield yep for example headgear well, helmet if you find one 
but for now all headgear all apparel all armor I would prefer them to eat a meal before anything else because now they will be eating raw food which might not be all that interesting and this one marksmanship 7 melee 6 but she will be learning melee a lot faster marksmanship mm, they will be all will be kind of melee people but maybe I should have at least one ranged uh, no shields or gear or armor let's do the, sh the same with this one melee weapon let's pick a two-handed no shield any gear any armor there you go so that's all set for now yeah i have some animals next let's not uh, do that uh domesticated animals can be trained to become pets pets can be assigned to settlers so that it will follow them ah i did not know about that let's check the other stuff domesticated animals may attack a settler who is trying to tame them tame can be long yeah i'm almost early. okay i know that but i have two wait oh i have two goats yeah two goats so what do i need to, to do in order to get the goats inside the pen is mark that as a pen so here i will put up a pen marker yeah somewhere in the corner i don't know why it doesn't matter there and i also need a feeding trough so let's put that like this now what will happen now is someone with animal husbandry will be trying to catch the goat and put them in the pen so who has animal husbandry this is two this is eight so let's give uh, yeah you one so if all goes well minota should be going and getting the goats uh can you please get the goats Wait, who's Minola? Or Minota? Huh. She's cutting trees. Why is she cutting trees? She should be getting the sheep, no? Wait, let me check that again. Uh, animal husbandry. Yeah, I think. Yeah, I think so. Wait, let me try it like this. I can't. Oh, but, but yeah, yeah. Okay, I'm, 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 I'm. I was wrong. It was not marked as a pen yet, so she couldn't go get it. Prioritize slaughtering. No training. No. Re but will she go get it? Those games seems to me like that other game you did play. Yeah, yeah. It's it's uh, similar to uh, what's the other one I played? Uh, the down down something something with down down I, I can't remember but yeah it's dawn of man yeah that's the one it's similar to that one but it goes even a little bit further oh, oh, oh the sheep are already in the pen okay so that's nice so no i don't need her to do uh, the husbandry anymore for now so i can put that back on three uh construction what does he say they will need some place to live yeah i can imagine that because they don't really want to sleep outside at night so I can build a rectangle, add floor, place sleeping spots, uh, smaller structures like furniture can be added. Okay, I will need some things like that. That's fine. Orders. Yeah, I already issued an order. Like if you want, for example, to prioritize cutting down trees, you can right click on the tree where the person selected, I think. Like this, right click on a tree, prioritize chopping the tree. Or for example, this, prioritize hauling to the stockpile. And maybe sh they should be doing that. Someone should be hauling everything to the stockpile. But for now, they are cutting down wood. And I need someone to build. So who's the best constructor? Construction 9. Construction 13. But this one should be learning it faster. So I'm going to be putting uh, Helena on construction. And I'm going to be trying to build a little house somewhere for them to sleep. I have three settlers now. I might be getting a couple more later on. So let's build a little house. The only options I have now is to use wood. Wood, well, it's, it's a nice start, but nah. Uh, let's think. Something like this should be fine. And then let's have maybe three for a room like this uh oh no 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 three stefan what are you doing there three so this one can go yeah this one can go okay you can go i 
I said you can go. Ah, destroy. You don't want to? Ah, whatever. Uh, build another wall. Something like this. So uh, it's 333. Three. Let's make it maybe a little bit bigger. Something like this. Okay, like this. And then like this. And then like this. And then have some doors in there. Door, door, door. At least they can start building that. Do I want a wooden floor in there? Probably I do. Up, wooden floors. There you go, wooden floors. And then I will also need a roof on there. Yep, like this. Switch it around like that. So I have now three little cabins. Let them build all that before I can continue with other things. Uh, is there anything else I need to uh, think of right now? Uh, no, not really, not yet. They should be building this reasonably fast because I did already cut down the wood and uh, I think I will be using sticks for the roof. I think I, I picked that. So you cut down this one. You will be in the way too. Cut down this one. There you go. Meanwhile, uh, I'm gonna need some food soon. Why are they not putting stuff on here? Isn't the game sound a little bit too loud, guys? In my ears, it kind of is. But let me know. Wait, I do not want human carcasses here. This is something I have, I have learned in the past. When people die, they will be trying to put the corpses on the stockpile too. But if uh, your settlers see the stockpile with a corpse on it, they will get uh, a little bit uh, yeah, sc scared, let's say. Uh, they might... Uh, become very unhappy. Okay, let's uh, scroll down. They are building all that. That's fine. The wood, the wood also allows them to f move a little bit faster, I think. Although it's probably starting with the stone. They give a thermal insulation. That is true. But they probably don't give you the movement speed, do they? Let's check. Wood. Yeah, traverse speed 100%. If you would have picked wicker floor, which is with sticks, you lose some movement speed and with the stone you increase movement speed. Is it the game stone volume okay for you? Then it's okay for me too. So what are they missing? They're probably missing wood, right? Wait, did I pick limestone? Mistakes have already been made. No, it's a wooden floor. What are you talking about? Building can be reached. Wait building can be reached. Why not? Not a lot enough allowed resources. Huh? I didn't put in a window, did I? Ah. Stupid. Stupid. See, mistakes have already been made. Destroy the windows. Okay, replace them with doors, please. Wooden doors. Yeah, like that. Yeah. Wait, that's not correct. No, I'm placing my my doors incorrectly. You cancel. You cancel. F1 build. Uh, we've been busy for 15 minutes. I <laughs> already had the first mistake. So they were uh, trying to get into the houses. Okay, this is also something I need to show you. In this game, there is something called like how do they call it in this game? Um, there is something called I don't know how they call it effectively, but uh, support. You need support in order to build something. And in this game, if you have a wall, your structural integrity goes like four blocks. So the wall one, two, three, four. So they didn't have. A wall here and the, the ceiling broke so I need to redo that wait they are still building it okay I need to wait is it called stability I don't know how it's called in this game I, I forgot so E yes like this like this like this there so they will at least be sleeping inside now and they have a door to get out so that's fine 
See, a roof needs two points to uh, rest upon. Okay, I know that already. Doesn't it say? Yeah, here it is saying stability. So you, you need stability in this game. And stability starts at four and it goes one block. Uh, it loses one stability every time you move one block away from the previous point. So if you have four stability, you can build out three blocks before you cannot build anymore. I kind of like the stability. I, I do like it. It, it makes it makes you think about how you will be building. So I do like it. So what settlers are st wait settlers are starving. Wait a minute. Oh shit! Sorry, sorry. Mistakes have been made. I forgot to unlock all this material. So all this material has been lying on the ground, yet I could not use it. There. So there, there are berries in here, pies, there is wood here, there has even, I, th I think there might be even a weapon or two in there. Ah, okay, in the morning they will have food. Yeah, see, no, they will be using all that. So, next thing I need to do is wait, maybe until this is all built. Yeah, let's do that, wait until it's built. Wait. They went to bed again. Oh, yeah, they went to eat and then they went back to bed. That's what happened. You should see me <laughs> point my finger to the screen. Not like this is going to help any <laughs> in any way, but okay, I'm pointing to my screen. So this I can harvest because it gets me hay, which I need for my f animals. And it also will get me barley. Lazy workers. Yeah, I should probably re rename them. But I, I, I only have females, so I can't really name them Reto or Grey Fox. Okay, next, next, next. They will probably be a little bit mad about having to sleep on the ground. So the thing about the layers first, let me show you. So now you can see everything perfectly fine. And if I move down layers, it will be removing... Wait, yeah, top, like this. Blocks, see, up. You see it raise a little bit, raise a little bit. So you can effectively build on the ground if you need, or if you want to. We're pushing this button because that will be removing the roofs so I can see inside. Things I will need inside is beds. They do not want to sleep on the floor. So what beds do I have? <coughs> I only have a hay sleeping bed. Okay. Turn it around like this, like this, like this. And I'm thinking they might also be needing some heat. Wait, what is that? Okay, some heat. And then maybe they also want a table. Oh, small table. Uh, that small wooden table is actually a little bit big. Anyway, tables. There. There. And let's give them a wooden stool. Oh yeah, those have directions, don't they? Do they? Oh, the stools don't. Okay, good. The chairs did have a direction. So, once this is all built, they should have a place to sleep, which isn't outside in the cold, and they should have a place to eat something. Ah, oh, yeah, there's something else I need. I'm gonna need a campfire somewhere in order to prepare food I think at some point so let's put that right here and there is yeah the small table is huge yeah you should see the big tables then yeah <laughs> it's as it's as big as the table it's even bigger than the table okay so I have this now the next thing I will need to do uh, is why are they not Oh yeah, this is also cool. Room created bedroom. Let me show you this. Uh, I think it's this button. I have uh, mapped already a few things. As you can see, the system recognize, recognizes types of rooms. So this is now marked as light blue, which is, I think, this one, the bedroom. This one is still marked as purplish, which is a spare room. And a bedroom, uh, it recognizes a bedroom and there is actually one uh, bed instead inside any type of bed and it cannot have any shrines or entertainment structures or work workstations inside it i think some type of room even give you bonuses 
So in case of a bedroom, yeah, it will make them feel cozy at night. But you can, for example, have a, uh, what did I have in, in my, my session, my other session? I think I had a, let me check, a kitchen. Yeah, I made a kitchen and I made a workshop. And I think, if I'm correct, that the types of room also See, it, it, yeah, I cannot show you a bit my finger, it doesn't work. But uh, at the bottom of the hint, it says workstations boost production speed. Here it says stoves and butchering tables boost production speed. For example, the bedroom, it says at the bottom, a small positive mood modifier is gained by whoever sleeps here. So yeah, there was a whole thing about your settlers have something called a mood. So right now their mood is positive. It's above what they are supposed to have. And you can see the bonuses to their mood and the negatives to their mood. So uh, he slept on the ground two times, so that lowers his mood. And he slept outside two times, that lowers his mood. So that should not be fixed, her mood, sorry. That should not be fixed, same for this one. Uh, deprived of religious activities, yeah, I can't help with that. N Night terror. Okay, lacking entertainment. Yeah, I don't have any entertainment set up yet and I don't have any religious stuff set up yet. But yeah, okay, that's fine. The question is, why are they not putting everything inside here for now? Oh, maybe, 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 maybe I need to, need to make someone hall for now. Yeah, hall. And you, what are you doing? Construction. If you can't construct, then hall. Mm, you are not doing anything, so maybe hall as well. Yeah, have a good night, uh, great folks. Thanks for being here. And yeah, we will be talking to each other later. Uh, maybe I will join you in, in Boundless for once and check out if I can help you with some materials or in any other game. There are plenty of games I want to play, like, for example, Guild Wars 2, Final Fantasy XIV. There is this game I would like to play. There is also that new uh, Dawn... Uh, what's it called? Not Dawn. Uh, Stranded... Stranded Alien Dawn, which is also a colony simulator thingy I might try to play. Well, anything actually. But have a good night. Talk to you later. Thanks for being here.